raise your hand for me, keep them up for a second. Good, I think in uh, this day and age, you not only get judged on whether you win, but you get judged on how you win. Um, I never thought that I'd ever be in a position to say that you get style points, but the way it is and the way our system is, that may be the way it is. But saying all that to say this, we knew this was going to be a tough game. We had a lot of respect for this team. Uh, they're a great defensive team. Um, we struggled a little bit out there today on offense. We had some adversity. It'd be a great lesson for us to learn from uh, the adversity and how we're going to respond to it, uh, what we need to do to get things fixed, uh, and maybe be a little more consistent. Had way too many negative plays. But, you know, kudos to the defense in terms of the way they played. Uh, we have a lot of respect for uh, this offense, this system, and uh, I thought the players did a really good job, except the, the one drive where they busted a big run on us and uh, hit a pass. Uh, I thought, you know, played a really, really good game. Uh, one of 13 on third down, stopped the run pretty well, so uh, I was very pleased with that. So, you know, anytime we win a game in the SEC, um, I was concerned about having a little bit of an emotional hangover after the LSU game. Uh, I think that may have been true to some degree. Our players need to learn that, you know, you have to be able to play every week. You know, everything's like a playoff now. Uh, so we got to play well every week. We've got to play to our best. Our standards should be based on who we are and what we can do. Uh, it shouldn't have anything to do with, um, you know, who we're playing. Um, if you want to be the best, you always work to try to be a perfectionist. You never ever get there, but certainly you like to try. Uh, and that's what we need to continue to try to do. So, um, you know, pleased with the win. Uh, lots of things we can learn from and do better in the game, obviously. Um, I don't think that uh, Tua could have gone back in the game if he needed to. I know the first thing you're going to ask me is about his injury. Um, you know, he got hit low a few times out there today, and uh, I think he got hit in the front of the knee, not the back, uh, which is where his uh, initial problem was. Uh, I think he's okay. Uh, Deontay Brown went out of the game. He got a turf toe, um, and he may that, that may be a, a little bit more of an issue for him, uh, especially for next week. Coach, we'll start on the right with Ben. Uh, defense did a really good job of getting pressure on Nick Fitzgerald today. Uh, how important was that? And was there any specific plan for it? It was really important because we got a lot of pressure, and we, and we got pressure when we weren't pressuring. All right, so we were rushing with four guys and. Uh, we could sit back and play, you know, coverage, uh, which has been a real key for us. And it was the same story last week. And um, and when we did pressure, I thought we did a good job of that. So it was huge right before the half to, you know, get a sack. Um, and then they missed a field goal. Uh, I think that was a big momentum swing, you know, in the game uh, in terms of the outcome of the game that they didn't score there. Coach, over on the left, Jeff Spiegel. Nick, it got a little tense at the end. Some guys had to be separated. Can you talk about that? And also, do you have any issue with some of the low hits that Tua was taking? Look, I, you know, I, the NFL has a rule uh, for that. The NFL has a lot of rules to you know protect people, some of which people complain about. Uh, but I think we have a lot of capable people in the NCAA to make you know decisions about what are good rules relative to player safety. And I've always been supportive of those rules, and uh, I think somebody else should really sort of, you know, make a decision about um, whether there's anything wrong with what happened in this game today. I'm not complaining about it. Football is football, and it is what it is, and uh, we need to do a better job of protecting our quarterback so people don't get a chance to, to hit him. Come back over on the right with Charlie. What did you think of the game that Josh Jacobs had today? It seemed like he did a little bit of everything. Really did a good job, especially at the end of the game. You know, that was a great drop that we had. I know we didn't score a touchdown at the end, but uh, I don't know. We took seven or eight minutes off the clock, uh, which is what you want to do in a in a situation like that. And uh, Josh was a demon, you know, running it uh, on a couple of those runs, and um, I was really impressed with uh, the way he played today. Back on the left with Tommy. Yeah, Coach, two questions. One, zero penalties. I'd like you to comment on that. I think early in the season you got a lot. And the, the other thing was to a kind of on a quick count to get rid of the ball. It looked like like it was kind of a one, two, three, get it out of your hand quick. 
No, I, I think sometimes uh, you get out of your hand quickly as an RPO, uh, which means that you're going to fake the ball, read a, a specific key, and decide that you're going to throw it. If you're going to throw it, you've got to throw it quick because you're not always protected. Um, so, um, but we've always thrown those. I mean, they've been ongoing all year long. Uh, but none of the other passes that we threw uh, were geared up any different timing-wise than what we've done in the past. Uh, I just don't think we've protected well enough to make the play, you know, at times. And uh, too many too many occasions he had pressure even if he had to move in, a, in the pocket. So, and way too many sacks. Zero penalties? Uh, you know, you're always happy with that. You always want to play penalty free. I was disappointed early on when we didn't, when we, I thought we were getting too many penalties. Um, I'm not saying they shouldn't have been called. I'm just saying that we needed to play with more discipline when it came to those types of things in terms of choices and decisions that you make uh, relative to what the rules are. Um, and uh, it's good that we didn't get any penalties today. I'm pleased about that. A couple more front with Mark. What does it say about this defense that they've had uh, two straight shutouts back to back? Um, you know, guys have made improvement all year long. I think we practice better uh, as the season has gone on. I think the preparation has been better, um, and I think that has contributed to us playing a little better, making fewer mental errors, uh, guys playing together more, understanding the plan, um, and you know, I, I think good job of implementing the plan. You know, two weeks in a row. So, um, but you know, it's all what what we can continue to do to try to strive to improve in the future. We're going to have a much different challenge, you know, this week coming up with, you know, the wishbone type of offense, which we haven't played against for a long time. So, but our guys seem to, you know, res respond to the things that we need to do in games, you know, to try to make it work. And I think they've developed some confidence in what they're doing. Two more. We'll start with Michael. The first two drives zipped right down the field, 156 yards. And what, what do you think changed after that when they had more defensive success? Well, um, they started pressuring a lot more. We didn't handle the pressure very well in the run game. Um, we got behind in the sticks, you know, a lot in the game, uh, which allows the defense to predict, you know, kind of control uh, what's going to happen. Uh, they pressured. We didn't handle it. Two things happen when you pressure. You either handle it and make big plays uh, because there's fewer guys in the back end, or the quarterback gets pressured and um, you don't. You're not able to make those plays. I thought they were, that they covered pretty well. Uh, we didn't separate real well, um, and we got way too much pressure in the pocket. And I think we got behind in the distance and we weren't able to run the ball, you know, very effectively after those first two drives. Coach, got to wrap up right here. Coach Saban, did you feel like, uh, as far as the interior running game, how was it effective when Deontay Brown went out with his injury in your mind? Well, we have a lot of confidence in Lester Cotton, but Deontay has paid really, really well for us. Um, these couple games that he started, uh, probably played a very, very good game last week against LSU. So, uh, you know, he's a very powerful guy, and he's playing with more confidence now. So we were very pleased with the way he was playing. Uh, I can't comment on how Lester played, so, you know, I. I, until I watch the film, you know, but we have confidence that he can play and play well. He's been a starter here for a long time, so we don't feel like it should have had an impact, uh, but we're very pleased with the way Deontay has been playing. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.